Lily and the Halloween Ship Once upon a time, there was a little girl named Lily. She was brave and curious and she loved adventures. More than anything, she enjoyed going on sea voyages with her father, Edward. Edward was an experienced sailor who loved the ocean as much as Lily. They owned a beautiful white boat they had named the Morning Star. It was their special place where they would go often embark together to explore unknown lands and seek adventures on the vast sea. One autumn day, Lily and Edward decided to set sail on a long journey across the ocean. The sun shined brightly and the wind gently filled the sails. The sea was calm, and there wasn't a single cloud in the sky. Lily stood at the bow of the yacht, stretching her arms out of it was the touch of the horizon. Are you ready for an adventure, my little sailor? Edward asked as he stood at the helm. Ready as ever, Lily replied, twirling happily on the deck. They enjoyed the first few days of the voyage. Lily spent her time watching dolphins, which would occasionally appear by the yacht, playing in the waves. Edward told her stories about ancient sailors who ventured far across the seas to discover new lands. Together, they cooked meals on the yacht's small stove and in the evenings watched the stars, which seemed so bright and close that they felt they could reach out and catch them. But after several days of calm sailing, everything suddenly changed one evening. As Lily and Edward were settling in for a night, an unusual thick fog began to roll in from the sea. It rose so quickly and densely that they almost immediately lost visibility. Lily woke up with a strange feeling, as though something had shifted. She had rushed out of her cabin and saw her father standing at the helm, carefully watching the dark fog surrounding the yacht. Dad, what's happening? Lily asked, concerned, as she saw the thick layers of fog. Edward smiled, but there was a serious look in his eyes. We've sailed into a thick fog, my dear. Nothing to worry about, but we'll have to be careful and make sure we stay on course. The fog was so dense that it looked like a white wall completely enveloping the yacht. Lily, who usually wasn't afraid of much, felt a slight twinge of unease. She ran over to her father and grabbed his hand. Don't worry, Edward said, stroking Lily's hand. The fog will clear soon. We just need to be patient. Hour after hour passed and the fog didn't dissipate. Lily felt as if time was dragging on. All around them was complete silence, as if they had entered another world, far away from anything familiar. Suddenly, after hours of drifting through the fog, they noticed something unusual. In the distance, within the thickness of the fog, a light appeared. It wasn't a typical ship's beacon or a star. It was orange, and it looked as if it had been carved right out of a large pumpkin. Dad, what is that? Lily asked excitedly, pointing to the light. Edward furrowed his brow and continuously steered the yacht towards the light. I'm not sure, Lily, but we'll find out. Slowly, they sailed closer to the light, and when they finally saw it more clearly, Lily couldn't believe her eyes. There, in front of them, in the middle of the fog, floated a massive ship. But it wasn't just any ship. It was a Halloween ship. The ship was decorated with jack-o'-lanterns, their carved faces glowing with bright orange light. Its masts were drapped with black cloth, and eerie decorations hung from them. Bats fluttered around the ship, and every pumpkin glowed so brightly that the entire sea around them was illuminated. Lily gasped in awe. It's so beautiful, she exclaimed in delight. Before she could say any more, a small skeleton suddenly appeared from the ship's front deck. He wore an old sailor's hat with a black feather, and he looked quite jolly. Welcome, strangers, the little skeleton called out in a friendly voice. Welcome aboard the Halloween ship. I am Captain Skeleton. Lily and Edward couldn't believe what they were hearing. A Halloween ship? Lily asked, her eyes wide. Is this some kind of a game? Captain Skeleton laughed. No, no, my child. This is a real Halloween ship. Every night we celebrate Halloween. Come aboard. 
We have pumpkin pies, caramel apples, and even ghostly dancing. Edward looked at Lily and smiled, nodding. Well, what do you think? Want to board this spooky ship? Though Lily was initially surprised and a little scared, she couldn't resist such an adventure. She eagerly agreed. Both Lily and Edward carefully climbed aboard the Halloween ship and thus began their magical night. On the deck, they were greeted by friendly ghosts who danced and laughed, while little spirits pulled funny faces and offered Lily candy. She had never seen anything so unusual and beautiful. There were also witches brewing potions that glowed in various colors, and vampires playing music on ancient instruments. In the midst of all this chaos, Lily felt like she was in a real wonderland. She danced with the ghosts, ate pumpkin pie, and even signed up to perform in the ship's little theater, coming up with her own little show. The night passed quickly, and before they knew it, the eastern horizon began to lighten. Morning was approaching, and Captain Skeleton appeared before them once again. Thank you for visiting us. We'll be waiting for you again next year on Halloween night. Of course, we'll definitely return, Lily promised happily, waving to the friendly skeleton. Then, as the sun rose over the horizon, the fog began to clear and the Halloween ship slowly began to disappear. When Lily opened her eyes, she found herself in her bed on the bow, the Morning Star. Everything was calm, and the sun was shining brightly through the cabin windows. She sat up in a bed, still feeling a slight buzzing in her head from what she had just experienced. Dad? Lily yelled out, and soon Edward entered the cabin, smiling. You're finally awake, he said. It looks like you had a good night's sleep. Dad, I had the strangest dream, Lily said, still a bit confused. I saw a giant Halloween ship with pumpkins and ghosts. We went aboard, and there was a friendly captain skeleton who invited us to celebrate Halloween. It all felt so real. Edward smiled and sat down next to her. That sounds like a wonderful dream, Lily, he said. Maybe it was just your imagination, but our dreams often turn our wishes and thoughts into something magical. Lily smiled, but she still wondered if it had all really been just a dream. She could remember Captain Skeleton and how they danced with the ghost so vividly. Could a dream feel so real? However, when she got out of her bed and went up to the deck, she saw the sea was calm again and the sky was clear. There was no trace of a fog and everything looked as though nothing unusual had ever happened. But as Lily walked across the deck, she happened to find a small pumpkin seed glittering in the sunlight. She picked it up and looked at it closely. Could it be from her dream? Or perhaps it wasn't just a dream. Lily smiled, holding her breath and slipped the seed into her pocket. Whatever it was, she knew that this adventure would always stay in her memory. And maybe one Halloween night, she could meet the friendly Captain Skeleton and his spooky ship again.